Hello, I have this Android tablet. Uh, it's about a year and a half old, I think. Uh, it's quite nice to have around for various tasks and especially when you're out traveling, it's great to watch a movie or just browse the internet, things like that. However, suddenly the battery life just went downhill really, really quickly. It used to have reasonable battery life, something like four, five, six hours watching videos and browsing the internet, etc. But now it will only hold battery for about five minutes before it switches off. So I think I'll try open it and see if we can find anything obvious at fault in sight. So I'm no Louis Rossman doing component level board repair, uh, but we should be able to determine if it's the battery or it's the charging circuit or perhaps some kind of protection circuit. So let's try open it up and see what we find. I have discharged the battery as much as possible before we start taking it apart just by switching it on and waiting for it to switch off on its own. I've done that several times so there shouldn't be much battery left uh, just in case we have an accident and short out the battery. So it's got this little lid on the top here. I think that's where we're going to start by taking it apart. There we go. So it's got space for an SD card and it's actually got space for two SIM cards. I don't know who will have two SIM cards in their tablet, but well, it's there. And we have some screws here. I think we'll take those out first. Okay, I think we can just pry it apart here. I hope so. Just use like a credit card. And the back comes off. So it's quite a large battery we have here. It doesn't look like it's puffed up or anything. Uh, it looks fine. And it's really amazing how little there's inside one of these tablets. The whole main board is over here. That's it. CPU, GPU, and all the control circuit. There's some here for the screen. A couple of speakers here. Um, camera. That's it. So I think I'll try disconnect the battery over here and then we can try hook it up to a charger and see if we can charge it if the battery is okay. Or maybe it's some of this circuit down here for controlling the charging. So I'll go ahead and do that. So even I have discharged the battery as much as possible, I will still have to be really careful we don't short anything out here. Generally when I work on things with large lithium batteries, I always have a metal container ready that I can quickly throw it into in case we have some kind of accident because if we accidentally puncture the battery or something like that, short it out, uh, it can be quite violent flames and explosions coming from these batteries. Anyway, let me try desolder this and then we can try give the battery a cycle. Okay, that was quite easy. So I'll be using one of these universal chargers just to check the battery. Test 
a bit of tape here so we don't have any accidents. I'll just charge it with one amp, no need to go too hard on the battery. And I'll set it to 3.7 volt because it's a single single cell here, you can see 3.7 volt. So let's try to give that a go and see what happens. Okay, it already jumped up to 4.2 volt and it's only charging half an amp, so well, that doesn't look too good for the battery. Anyway, I'll just leave it to charge full and see how it goes. I have completed a full charge and discharge cycle and the capacity of the battery came out less than 500 milliamp hours. So uh, here it says it's 6,500 milliamp hours. So uh, something is definitely wrong. So the battery does have some protection circuitry built in to the battery itself, uh, but I don't really want to mess with it. So I think I need to find another battery. I need to find something that will fit in here, a uh, similar footprint, and then hopefully I can get a working tablet again. I found another battery that should hopefully fit inside. It's just a little bit smaller and it says it's 19.4 watt hours, but hopefully it should work okay. Uh, inside so I did just do a quick cycle on it I don't get quite 19.4 watt hours I get more like uh, 16 watt hours but even with 16 watt hours you still give me usable battery time on the tablet so let's try to take the old battery out and put a new one in so you can see comparison here it is quite a lot smaller uh, but it is difficult to find exactly the same battery this one says it's 24.05 watt hours, uh, but we know we, right now it's almost nothing. So I hope it's not glued in too hard under the battery here. Anyway, I'll try to remove it. Okay, looks like it's just two small strips of double-sided tape they put in here. Ah, that wasn't too bad. So I think I'll just do the same. Just use some small double-sided tape here. Let's see. If we mount it over here, I think that will work well. Okay, so I think the battery is well secured now. Just need to solder it in over here and see if it works.
So I'll try charge the battery here. So I discharged it completely before uh, soldering in here. Before I do that, I think let's have a small look at the USB charge socket here. Uh, you can see it is it's it's quite loose. And uh, the problem is when you have the tablet standing up, you will have like a cable coming out on top here, and it's very very easy to put a little bit of force on that and it it really loosens up the socket here. I'll see if I can just tighten that up a little bit. Uh, it's, it's still kind of loose, but I really don't know if it's possible to do much about it. Okay, I think that looks a little bit better. So I'll just let it charge a bit and we'll see if it powers on. It's been charging for half an hour now, so let's see if it will power on. There we go. It is powering up. So that looks like it was successful. Of course, I'll have to let it go through a full charge cycle and see how well it works and how well it holds the battery. Uh, but so far it's looking good. So I'll just switch it off again and we'll put it back in place. Okay, so I think we have a working tablet here again. So I'll try to do a full charge, discharge, see how much battery life I get out of it now. I think it was a successful operation. 
thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video give a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed so thanks for watching i'll see you next time bye bye